The way to receive revelation from God has not changed from the days of Adam and Eve. It has been the same for all called servants of the Lord from the beginning to the present day. It is the same for you and for me. It is always done by exercising faith. The teenage Joseph Smith had faith sufficient to ask a question of God, believing that God would answer his heartfelt need. The answer that came changed the world. He wanted to know what church to join to be cleansed of sin. The answer he received encouraged him to keep asking even better questions and to act on the continuing flow of revelation that had just begun. If your faith in Jesus Christ has led to a heart softened through the effects of his atonement, you will be more able to feel the whisperings of the Spirit in answer to your prayers. Revelation comes to us in proportion to the degree to which we have sought to take the doctrine of Christ into our hearts and implement it in our lives. As our faith in Jesus Christ will have led us to ask the Father for answers, that faith will also have brought the Savior's softening touch enough for us to hear the direction and be determined and excited to obey. Then we will sing the words of the hymn with joy, even when the work is hard. Sweet is the work, my God, my King. It takes faith to be obedient to the Lord's commandments. It takes faith in Jesus Christ to serve others for Him. It takes faith to go out to teach His gospel and offer it to people who may not feel the voice of the Spirit or may even deny the reality of the message. But as we exercise our faith in Christ and follow His living prophet, faith will increase across the world 